Four of the men killed in the massacre were deaf, and there is growing speculation that the suspect Robert Card targeted them. Card had recently started using hearing aids. His sister-in-law says Card, who suffered mental disorders, believed that he could hear deaf people bashing him at cornhole competitions at Shemangi's restaurant. This exclusive video shows Card playing in a cornhole tournament at the restaurant last year. There you go, Rabbi. One of those killed was 36-year-old Joshua Seal, a sign language interpreter who became a familiar face to TV viewers in Maine during the pandemic. We faced the worst that nature had to offer. Also killed were these deaf people, Bill Brackett, Steve Vizella, and 40-year-old Brian McFarlane. Others slain include 42-year-old Arthur Strout, who was playing pool with his father. He was supposed to leave with me when it came time to leave. He says, no, he says, I want to hang out and play a couple more games. 57-year-old bar manager Joseph Walker is being called a hero. We spoke to his wife and daughter. He could have just went out the back door, and instead he grabbed a butcher knife and ran after was going after the shooter. 39-year-old Peyton Brewer Ross leaves behind a wife and two-year-old, you know, his brother Ralph. And now have a two-year-old niece. She just turned two on the 13th of October. Um, that, you know, is not, not going to have a father. Her first words when she woke up the next morning was, where's daddy? Where's daddy? Of the total of 18 slain, 17 were male. The lone woman among the casualties was 53-year-old Trisha Asselin, who worked at the bowling alley. Trisha's 10-year-old cousin, Tony, was playing in a youth bowling league that night. I saw someone get shot. They were just sitting, and all of a sudden, when I heard the boom, I think it hit them because they just fell off their chair.